Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shuffle Podcast. This is episode 52. If you listen once a week, it's officially been one year of the Shuffle. Thank you for joining us for all 52 episodes. We love you. I am Joe. I am Dave. I am Tyler. And this week we are joined by my girlfriend, Shannon Liver. Hi, Shannon. How are you? Hello. I'm good. (laughs) Oh, wow. I feel so important now. Um... Shannon Liver. <laughs> Shannon Liver. Okay. Um, this took way too long for us to get started today, everyone. Uh, it took, we usually start these recordings at 4 p.m. on Thursday. No, we don't. It, that's okay. We don't. try and start these recordings at 4 p.m. on <laughs> yeah. Thursday. This, Something today usually we, goes wrong. Today, today took everything went wrong. Of time. Well, everything see, went wrong. Thing, it's a good thing you guys hopped on earlier. And started, yeah. Oh, oh also, which, which reminds me, last week we talked about uh, ranking tattoos. Tyler could not get the screen sharing to work, so we are not doing that this week either. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> if Skype wasn't such a garbage platform, yeah, I really yeah, shout feel out like to we Skype. Were, shout out to Skype for being absolutely Dog awful and everything. Yeah, horrendous. Um, maybe one day we'll figure that out, but today's not the day. Yeah, um, but yeah, tomorrow is still Friday the 13th. Um, if you're going to go out and get a tattoo, don't get a stupid one, but have fun. Also, don't forget to wear your mask, socially distance, and also don't forget to tip your tattoo artist. Yes. Minimum Even if it's a mandatory tip included, tip more. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unless and don't you have get, no money. Don't get your significant other's name tattooed anywhere on your body because you will break up and it's you will regret that. Right yeah. Unless you're 90 years Facts. old and your significant other has passed on. Then go ahead. Then go ahead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we are joined by someone who I would say probably has one of the hardest jobs in the world, being Joe's <laughs> girlfriend. Shannon, I'll start off with how did you how did you have the pleasure of getting to know Joe? So uh, tell us your story real quick. Our story? Yeah. Um, okay, well, we originally met at work. At good old Kilimanjaro Safaris. Yeah. And um, actually, we were at like the Fast Pass entrance, and I started asking him about his sunglasses because I got in trouble for mine. And then I started talking about how I got LASIK, and he got grossed out. And yep. Mm-hmm. Like the eye, <laughs> eye thing? Yeah, like the yeah, lasers in surgery. your eye, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like yeah. love at first sight. Ah? No, I ah. feel like I never saw him again <laughs> after that. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> and yet now you see him all the time. Yeah. With, so, your, new, with your new LASIK. So I guess yes. I guess what happened in between never seeing him again and then becoming his girlfriend? Quarantine <laughs> happened. Ah. Oh, okay. True. Yeah. And we also did the, the Everest backstage tour. Yeah. So like and- the day before we closed for, for COVID, we had an, a backstage tour of one of the rides. And... Um, I mean, we talked a little bit there, but like, yeah, wasn't anything special. And then at the the end of quarantine, she messaged me. She slid into whoa, my DMs. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I'm not you wrong. Were, no, 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 no! You're not wrong. But you were commenting and liking on almost every single thing I posted on Facebook. You were Facebook. posting relevant things that I liked. Okay, so I was like, "What's this kid's deal?" And that's why I messaged you. <laughs> She said, hey, wow, bro, you're making me feel famous. You? Thank you. No, no, I think it's a popular. I didn't say popular, famous. sorry, not popular. famous, popular. Why is this and... kid such a fucking weirdo? Liking all my shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what I would have said. Kind honestly. of. And we so were also is... in... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Do you want me to continue? Go. Yeah, we were in a, in a Safari Zoom, and Joe just straight bullied me the whole time. And I, I honestly did. thought... I just jumped on the bullying <laughs> train. I did no. not start it. And I honestly thought he actually hated me. And I had to, like, yeah. ask people. I was like, does everybody here hate me right now? <laughs> this is all sounding like consistent behavior from Joe. My question is, so this is a <laughs> quarantine sort of relationship. Does that mean at the end of the pandy, you guys will be breaking up? Or the is this, pandy. like, something that we're seeing as well, a long-term it was, relationship? it was end of quarantine startup. So, like, it wasn't like we started at the beginning of quarantine. Yeah. Mm, you know, there's, so. there's never been an end of quarantine. Yeah, true. I mean, end of Florida. Disney quarantine. <laughs> oh, end of Disney quarantine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. So the full blown quarantine when that ended. 
mm-hmm. around there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was literally like right at the end, like a, what a week or two before we went back to work. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's so, how. What a great story. Um, yeah. I I have another question for Shannon. What is the most annoying thing about Joe to you? Oh my God, there's too much. Um, <laughs> no. Um, hmm. That is a really hard question to answer. Because I'm not annoying. <laughs> no, because there's just too much to like go off of. Uh, I mean, I've known Joe me for lot. coming up on like nine years, I think, and the thought of dating him. Well, you are also a guy. Shiver. Yeah. <laughs> no, he will just mimic me a lot. Like I will like just be like, "Hey, what's up?" And he's like, "Hey, what's up?" And I'm like, "Why?" <laughs> That's not Just a Joe exclusive thing. Let that be known. That is a that is something that Dave will do. That is something that all Sharkies will do. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. I think it's just clean Joe. <laughs> um, but I won't say it to Hey, what's up? But they'll they'll like. Yeah, it's not Hey, what's up? It's like if they say something stupid, I'm gonna, gonna repeat it back to them. <laughs> no, like, I can literally say question? anything. It's just the way you say it. You have like a weird inflection sometimes, so I have to. I do it to everyone. You're not special in that sense of the word. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> not special when it comes to mocking. Yes. <laughs> Um, evidently yeah well Shannon, um, i didn't I'll, think I'll of any questions first. to ask do <laughs> you have a weird weekly story for us <laughs> oh. sorry my headphones are disconnect <laughs> well while she's getting those back okay they're back <laughs> okay never mind go ahead Shannon, right. you got a weird weekly story do you have a weird like weekly story for us Shannon? Oh, yes, yes, yes. So I was at work yesterday, not at Safari's. I've been picking up hours uh, park greeting at Magic Kingdom. So basically, I just stand in the front of the park and people like scan their tickets to come in and whatnot. And it was like two hours before the park was supposed to close. And this lady comes up to me and like walks straight past me. And I was like, hi, ma'am. Like, where's your ticket? And she's like looking all around. She's like, oh, I'm with first aid. Like, I need to get in there. And like, she's wearing like an all black, like jumpsuit Uggs. And she's got like these giant like bags with her. And I'm like, ah, yeah, like I'm going to need to see like some ID or something. She pulls out her wallet and shows me like, it's literally like a cardboard piece of paper that says first aid on it with like a red cross just drawn on it. And I'm like, yeah, I I can't let you in the park. So she's like, okay, well, where's your ticket booth? And I like point her over and like I watch her walk over like surprised that she actually went there. And I see her do the whole thing to them as well, like pulls out her stupid fake first aid card. Red crayon drawn on. (laughs) Yes, like exactly like that. And then she basically just like walked away. So I thought she was leaving, like didn't buy a ticket. But then she comes back and like sits on a bench and I was like, what is this woman doing? So she's like sitting there for way too long and people start leaving the park and she starts like pulling people over like actually like touching people and like having them take pictures of her and like other random shit and then i see her grab this old lady and she starts like having a video taken of her and she's like going off like arms are flailing and it's for like a decent amount of time like at least five minutes and i felt so bad for this old random lady who's just like I am now taking a video of a crazy person doing I don't know what. Um, And then our security came over to her like shortly after and basically was like, you have to leave. And she didn't leave. She stayed there for like another two hours, just like walking around. Um, At one point, she just left her bags on the bench and left. And the girl next to me was like, is nobody concerned that like she just left like all of these bags there unattended? And I was like, no, like security's on top of it. I'm sure it's fine. But yeah, like it got to the point, basically she was there. I had got on break and come back and she was still out there. She was there for two hours until park closed, just walking around, like reaching out to people and stuff. And like security had to like be like, okay, like it is time for you to leave now. And like, she just like wouldn't leave. Did she at least have a mask on? She did. no. What? No, she did. She did. (laughs) She she was first aid. She had to play the part. Oh, that's right. (laughs) Did she, have a, like... did she have a white mask with a red crayon on it, too, for the... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm going to take a wild guess here, and I'm sure you don't know the answer to this, but I'm assuming this person is a Florida resident. Because that um, is a, a really Florida, Florida person thing to do. Yeah, that's a bit, that gives off big Florida vibes. Big yeah. Florida vibes. 
I'm just really hoping because I couldn't really find out much information. Like I talked to security and they were just like, yeah, I don't know. She's crazy. Um, mm -hmm. And so I'm hoping that video that was taken of her like finds its way onto Facebook or something. Because like typically that is what happens when crazy people visit Disney. Yeah. So how old is the crazy person? How old? Yeah. Uh, she was like at least 40, I'd oh, okay. say. Okay. So yeah. she was like on the... Not older, but like she was, you know, she was like a full grown adult. <laughs> yeah. And then she asked an she even didn't. older lady who probably didn't know how to work an iPhone. Yes. Like a grandma. To take so a Shannon, video based of off of that experience and maybe other experiences you have, what do you think would be the best way to sneak into Disney if somebody wanted to do yes, that? Please let the viewers know. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say I caught somebody once. They almost got away with it. What Just like hopping over the fence. Mm, which not... fence? <laughs> no fence. Which no fence. fence. The fence is gone now. Gotcha. <laughs> Makes it easier to get in. Yeah. Um. So you work at Disney, as has been established, and you what what drew you to Disney in the first place? Why did you? Why would you want to work for such a company? Such a company. Um, I don't know. Well, I always knew like right after college, I wanted to move to Florida, like no matter what. And then I found out about the Disney college program and then I just <laughs> never left. <laughs> wait, wait, where did you want to move? You wanted to move where? Florida. Uh, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Florida. I know you all hate it, but. <laughs> no, no, no. They're, they're, they're laughing You're... at the way you say Florida. <laughs> Why? How do I say it? Florida. 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 I don't know, man. Oh, so I you, just caught so you me off guard. Florida. So you <laughs> moved to Florida. Did you move to Florida with the intention of working at Disney? <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, like, I got accepted to the college program, so I was like, cool. But oh, I was gonna no. come down here no matter what. Yeah. Nice. Had you not gotten accepted into the college program in Florida, would you? What would you have done? What, what was your backup? Um, I probably just would have, like applied to Universal. They're, mm. I think, easier to get into. <laughs> Their standards are lower. Ooh. You know? Oh, really? Dig, dig at Universal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Title no, big this, title, of, title of this podcast, Universal Sucks? Question mark? Exclamation point question mark? <laughs> wow. Damn. Yeah. Um, what, oh, is, um, what is the hourly rate of Disney workers? That's a pretty personal question to ask. No, me. you could look it up, bro. Is it? Yeah. I it's don't true. Think... It is public is it, is it like, does everybody get paid the same or do like the characters get no. more and you well, guys get less? Shannon, you take this really question. It's all, it's, this is directly oh, this is, this is No, this is me. both of you. This is both of you. I don't care. Yeah. Who, I was, but... Well, we get more because we work at safaris and it's super safety critical. Okay. Um, there was and, like, a time lifeguards. though I was making more than Shannon at safaris. Okay, gender. come on. Gender. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. You yes, were the same whole, job. But 25 cents, 50 cents? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Disney Animal Kingdom is sexist? Question mark? Question mark. Oh. Point. <laughs> <laughs> is the title of this podcast? Oh gosh. Well, that was no, only but now because... we make the same amount. Why? Because you worked longer than I have? Uh, it's because I was part time longer than you yes. were. So, like, because you were doing a college program and I was part time at that same time, I got a raise when you didn't. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So now you both are just part timers. Now we're both part time. We both make fifteen an hour. Mm -hmm. Um, and other jobs make more. It really depends on what you do. Other jobs make uh, most attractions jobs make a dollar less than we do. So most are making fourteen. We're all making fifteen at Safaris. Who do you think makes the most? Probably. I Walt. know that answer. Walt. Yeah, in his grave, he's just rolling in the dough. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody, if, if you're talking about like somebody who works in the park, who makes the most, um, that would be, yeah. one uh, of the park, current, one of the five, right? There's five. Yeah. Well, four in Disney Springs, but yeah. Oh. Um, the most, well, the highest paid cast member that isn't like a higher up person is, um, the Tinkerbell that flies during the, the show at oh. Magic Kingdom every night. Ooh. Wow. she's making bank i bet oh my god yeah and she literally comes in for like two hours i don't even know if it's that long comes in does that goes home gets paid the big bucks the big bucks yeah, do we'll you know it. how much we'll leave it at the big bucks. i don't know the exact number i just know that that is the highest paid position so like wait did you know the highest position 
fun fact that they actually, it used to be a guy that would be Tinkerbell flying across. Yeah. And They're then petite male. And then cameras yeah. got really good. So they were like, shit, we need somebody who doesn't have hair on their legs. Just tall, <laughs> really tall, skinny females. Oh, it's pretty, it's kind of sexist. Like you'd think that like whoever wants to be Tinkerbell could be Tinkerbell, but I guess. Yeah, no, not, <laughs> not, <laughs> um, not if they forgot like that. I don't know. Okay. Is this Tinkerbell like, know, is she really short? Double. Or is she just... I think they are shorter, yeah. but I also think... Uh, I'm pretty sure that all three of them... So there are... Oh, I shouldn't... Well, whatever. There's <gasps> three people who do it. <laughs> what? There are Disney three... secrets exposed? Question mark, exclamation point, question mark? <laughs> There's, from what I know, three people, and they're all, like, older women. Like, hmm. like older. Like, not our age flying like down that, that zip line. 23-year-olds. That's crazy. Nah. In short skirts and shit. They're like they're like you know like fifties. Wow. Yeah, fifties, sixties, maybe. Yeah. And they're putting those old ugly ladies up on that on a zip line. (laughs) 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 They just kick her off the ledge. Like, go on, grandma. (laughs) Wow. Could you imagine? Ew. (laughs) I see. uh, Disney secrets. Hope you don't have a heart attack. Disney secrets exposed. Uh, you know, with that being said, Shannon and I do not speak for the company. In a lot better shape yes, us, I don't actually work for Disney anymore. Uh, I was laid off. Oh. What? You did? You did? You were? <laughs> you did? You were? <laughs> there. Sorry. We all know Joe yeah. still works there. <laughs> yeah. Well, and they laid off the female. Of oh. course. <laughs> Disney. Disney. <laughs> Disney Orlando, Florida is sexist? Question mark, question mark, point? You already <laughs> used that one, Dave. But... Yeah, but I put Orlando, Florida. In there. Florida, Florida, yeah. Florida. Um, um, so what's your plan now, Shannon? I'm not actually laid off. Yeah, I'm bro. Just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> when was that established that that was a joke? I didn't. Pretty, I pretty much right after she said when that. She, when she was like, <laughs> you know? She did the fake. I fake thought that percent. was like like awkward, like yeah. huh, trying to make light of this <laughs> terrible situation I'm in. No, no, no. No, okay. no, no. Hey, by the way, I'm so um, uh, Tinkerbell gets paid five hundred dollars per flight. Just in case you were wondering, where the hell did I you get that information? <laughs> um, Secret Source just texted me. Okay, five hundred dollars a flight. So that's every single night, wow. seven days a week, twenty-four or three hundred sixty-five <laughs> days a year. <laughs> it's Somebody is permitting. So that's five five hundred times seven. So that's twelve hundred. Thirty five hundred, bro. <laughs> or thirty, yeah, thirty five hundred. Thirty five hundred. Where are you getting twelve hundred? I, I did. I did uh, seven plus five, not <laughs> seven. Ah, okay. So thirty five hundred dollars a week is not too bad. I but like you have to divide doing... that by three because there are three of them. I, I I would assume they all make the same amount. No, no, no. I'm saying like they don't. They all three of them don't work every day. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So let's assume like they, you know, they switch days. So like 35 divided by three is. Well, now hold on because. I would just say yeah. there's somebody who's Wait. doing like, it's like two, two. Parks are open every day. Yeah, every day. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm two guessing of them it's probably like, do two days a week and then the better out of the three does get, three of them. Get probably. the three. So probably. Yeah. So they're getting paid a thousand dollars a week. Roughly. Give or take. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're better, you're getting paid 1500. So not as much as I was expecting. But still way more than we make. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and they're doing significantly week. less work. They're getting that a week. Well, I mean, there's the chance that they could, you know, fall off, fall and die. So. Well, I mean... I guess... There's a chance our trucks could explode and we could die. Maybe. Maybe. could get, like, mauled by tigers and shit, too. Well, we don't have tigers, but lions, yeah. <laughs> lions and tigers, oh, bear, or oh, oh, shit. <laughs> well, never mind. I screwed nice it day. up. Um, Shannon, I had a question for you for this for, for this lovely interview that we're doing. I can't remember what it is. Um, so, Good. David Tyler, if you got another one, please please questions. take it from me. Um, so, Shannon, you're from Long Island. Oh boy. Tell us about yeah. that. Long what Island. would you like to know? No, I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> Long Island, for those of you that don't know, is an island that's very long. Um, it's in New York City. It's, it's in, on the it's West right Coast. By New York City. Um, yep. Did you go to a university in in Long Island, or where did you, where was mm. that at? No, I went to school in Manhattan. Manhattan. All right. Yes. That's cool. Good for you. 
I couldn't questions. tell you. Guys, I'm really what's struggling going here. Can you guys come up with anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I was going to save. I'll. It's not the question that I had, but I was going to save this for like the end where we do the thought provoking question. But I'll use it now because I do want to hear this answer from Shannon and then from you guys as well. Oh boy. Um, so I saw this thing on TikTok the other day, um, and there was a sentence that was put up on the screen, and it said, "How are you reading the sentence right now?" So Shannon, I'm going to start with you. When you are reading something or you're thinking something, do you hear? the thought in your head like do you hear a little voice in your head saying it or like your own voice in your head right i should say i'm gonna say mm, maybe but i don't know i have to like look at something let me hold on too many calories i know i guess <laughs> See, i'm reading the ingredients you have to hear yourself yeah like i guess like i'm you hear yourself saying it I don't hear myself, but I'm not just like, I don't know. Yes, I will say sure. Okay. But I feel like Dave, I have a Tyler. reason why, but go ahead. I'm not oh. entirely sure I understand Yeah, your me question. too. <laughs> so like if you were reading a book, and not that either of you really read books that often, but <laughs> <Wow>. if, <laughs> okay. let's say you were, looking at a, you were looking at a sign. The sign said, Puppies warning, keep out. When you're, when you're reading that, do you hear it in your head or, or do did you acknowledge yes. the words mean? I heard all the words he just said right there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. You cut out. You really cut out really there. bad. Okay, let me try it again. <laughs> when you're reading a sign that says "warning, keep out," yeah, do you hear those words in your head? Like you're reading it to yourself. You're not reading it out loud. Do you hear those words in your head, or do you just see it and you just like, you just acknowledge that that's what the words are? Well, if we're talking about reading a book. I I see like a picture in my head, so I like have like a story like a story going in my head. But if I'm reading okay. a sign, I just look at the sign and read what it says. Okay. Do you say it like, well, like okay. I guess I hear it in my head. If I if I'm following correctly, like it's kind of like me just whispering in my head saying it. Yes. Okay. That's that's how that's exactly yeah. how it is. Like it's just like a little like whisper in the yeah, back of like your head. Like you can just like. If I was just like, yeah. hey Joe, warning, don't trespass or whatever. <laughs> like, I'm saying that in my head. That's pretty much how it sounds, I guess. Yeah. But so um, you guys hear you hear a voice in your head when you read a sign. It's not like it's not like a voice. It's like your own voice. Yeah. It's just like you're reading it to yourself. Like how how like that. Think, I don't know. Think of. Do you have anything to read in front of you? Or just think of anything. It's because, like, if you're thinking, too, like, when I yeah. think of, like, a scenario, I, like, I'll, like, say things so in my head. So read that and, and hear that. Oh, yeah. Read it in your definitely. head. Definitely. I definitely. Okay. What did, what did, what do you, what do you experience? I, I experience Wild Turkey, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, distilled and bottled by Wild Turkey Distilling Company. Lawrenceburg, okay, but Kentucky. you read that in your head, not out loud. You picture a wild turkey? While reading that. Well, no, for for that, I pictured the words wild turkey as I'm, re I, I'm, I'm going, oh, that says wild turkey. Okay, so <laughs> that brings me to the other part. So, like, this was, like, a psychology, like, thing, TikTok that I was watching. And it said, there are people who don't hear their thoughts in their head. And they just, like, either they just see the word or they, what you said, Tyler, with reading a book, um, they, like, picture the scene. Um and apparently, uh, and I think this, you can confirm this, Tyler, based off your confusion that we can hear ourselves think. I'm a lot you smarter don't, than you guys. No, no, no. You, <laughs> you didn't realize that that was a, a thing that other people did. Like, you didn't realize that people hear their, hear their thoughts. Tyler, if you're thinking to yourself, what do you hear? <laughs> or what do you, what do you experience? I mean, I don't hear my own voice in my head, but I just, I just know what words I'm thinking about. Like right now, <laughs> I'm going to think about something. Okay. <laughs> and are you hearing your thought or are you just picturing the thing in your I'm mind? I'm just picturing the thing in my mind. Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> that like, I'm, um, <laughs> cause like when I'm reading a book, I'm going to go back, I keep going back to the book. I will read the words and I'll hear myself reading them in my head, but I can, I can also picture the scene of the book, but my go-to is just hearing myself reading it in my head. Um, like I don't tend to picture things. Some people apparently can think in color as well. Like, 
which is yeah i don't understand that that's like kanye west like he's like oh like what does he say he has he's like i i don't know he's like i see like color with music and like that's how he makes his music or whatever he's like i paint a picture he says like some crazy stuff like that i don't yeah i don't really pay too much to what he says a lot i i know he's (laughs) It's pretty much all nonsense. I this had an idea different. to do some uh, would you rather questions. I thought this could be kind of interesting. Are you guys down for that? Do you want to for, want to wait for Dave to get back for this? Because I don't know well, what the hell. Well, he'll jump doing. in. He'll jump in. Because I mean, we can. Oh yeah, we'll wait for we'll wait for Dave actually. Because I want to hear some of his thoughts on this. Um. So I guess this I... is where we can do the the oh, yeah, ad yeah, break. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, yeah, we'll throw in the throw in the ads here. What? <laughs> oh, the ad break? This is what the hell happened, Dave? Uh, um, did I miss something? <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, me. where did you go? Uh, my sister knocked at my door and she goes, did you figure out the talking thing? Because she's watching it. She was watching it live. Uh, and oh. I, she go, I go, we're talking about it right now. She goes, well, I think there's something wrong with Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I she don't goes, think there is. I think he just his brain works I, differently than ours. No, does. she didn't say that. I just said that. But she oh. goes, I think I, I, I. She was like, I know what you're saying. Like it's just like a whisper in your head. It's like you're you're just you're just hearing your own thoughts. Because... I think you guys are psychos. So okay, Dave. I had we're gonna do some would you rather questions. Wait, wait, no, okay. no, 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 no. Let's step back a second. We're not psychos. Okay, well, you guys also <laughs> don't like cheese. Wait, so... Shannon, Shannon likes, likes cheese. cheese. I like cheese. Yeah. I didn't say Shannon was a psycho. I said you guys are psychos. <laughs> I didn't say you guys and Shannon are psychos. Yeah, but no. But Shannon said, also hears her thoughts. Fucking open yeah. your ears. Yeah, Bob. She's open not a up psycho. your your head. She, she for likes cheese. Whispers. So they can't cancel it. Oh, We're gonna okay. do some would you rather questions. This guy's just trying to sidestep um, his first craziness. One, Dave, please. The first one. Would you rather? <laughs> <laughs> would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors, or go into the future and meet your great grandchildren? I wouldn't have any great grandchildren, so we'll go to um. <laughs> no, but if you put it, no, but if you have the option, that means you do have them. So that's you. You got to think about this really meta, Dave. Okay. Yeah. I would go into the past because I feel like my great grandchildren would be little shits. That's a yo same. <laughs> no, that's the same thing I thought. I was like, I don't want to meet them. Like, I'd rather go back I'd, I'd and be like, ah, oh, this is where I came from. Like, I go to the future to um. Just see what it's like. Well, see, I'd like to go to the future to see what the future's like, but, like, I don't want to see my fucking great-grandchildren. Yeah. Yeah, but you can see, like, if you're going to be, like, if, if you raised them right. Yeah, if you... If you yeah, but I'm not raising my great-grandchildren. If you raise your children <laughs> to raise your children to raise their children. Mm. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. Would you rather have more time or more money? Now, this is an obvious answer. More time. Oh. Wow. More what? time for what? Time as in... Like to live? Yeah, what's that? I guess just like <laughs> however you, I mean, I guess if you have more time in the day. You well, this more makes time sense because Dave's because... biggest fear, as we determined last, last week, week or two weeks ago, whenever it was, uh, <laughs> that he his biggest fear is dying. So obviously he'd want more time. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Joe, what about you? Uh, you know, I thought about saying more time, but I feel like I just would love money. Yeah, because, I mean, that's the right answer. And, Shannon, I'm assuming that's the same for you as well? Yes, more money. Okay. Dave, now, I support your answer of more time, though. Listen, I would love more money, but, like... I don't support that answer. Um, I would would want you both. rather have a rewind button or a pause button on your life? Oh, oh rewind. Nope. Shit. Oh. I don't like these questions. Cause Obviously, I wanted both. it's rewind. I wanted both last time. And now I'm on both this time. A rewind. I would like a rewind. Because you can go back and undo all your fuck-ups. Yes. Or if you had the pause button your whole life, you could pause it and think about it. No. Because so, if you have a rewind, then oh, you, you can also... Oh, you can do it twice. You can try both scenarios. So for the, so for the, uh, the pause button argument, I guess that would be like you can stay in the moment longer. If you have a rewind, you can just go back into that point in the in the in the past as many times as you want, but also yeah, you have the I feel yeah, like but I might mess up the future. 
Mm-hmm. It doesn't work like that because it's already set. It's a rewind. It's not right. a rewind to a different channel button. Gotcha. Yeah, but if you rewind and you change something in the past, it has to change something in the future. No, but it. Nope, Tyler, she's right. She's right. <laughs> let's say you had a. You. Uh, let's say you had a kid. You're like, uh, uh-uh, uh, rewind. If it was just a <laughs> rewind to go back and like relive as opposed to change, then yeah. I would. That's probably... what I'm saying. Is it is you can do the same thing with a rewind that you can do with a pause. Yeah, I would probably choose rewind just because oh, like the I pause. Would... You're just like kind of. I assume everyone else pauses, kind of like in the movie Click. Everyone else just freezes and you're just yeah. stuck there by yourself what fun is that yeah yeah that's what i, thought I would too. say rewind just because i have like the world's worst memory and it would be nice to like go back and be like ah, oh, like that's what i'm supposed to remember or or that things like that true. me too world's worst memory. would you rather be able to talk with the animals or speak all foreign languages fuck animals that. talk with the animals foreign languages Ugh. fuck other people why do you want to talk to oh animals? my god why do you want to know <laughs> fucking other languages? Boo fucking who? So you can go anywhere what? and just talk. I'm, yeah. I mean, you gotta think about this practically. Hey, you practically, do to it's 2020 and I have an iPhone that translates for me. True. Yeah, dude. Okay, but what, That's are, you gonna, like not what are you gonna do? Enough. Just go around and talk to animals? What the fuck are they gonna have to say? Yo, think oh, of this, all the money you could make if you could talk the, to animals. This bull dog no, but also like super good today. <laughs> What like what if you're the only person? Are you the only person who can talk to animals? Because then maybe people would be like, "You're psycho," and like put you in like. Well, if Dave and I are both choosing to talk to animals, you. then both of us get to talk to animals. So, so but these scenarios only work for one person at a time. <laughs> oh. have, you ever, have you ever played? Would you rather? Play? We have to take turns. <laughs> no. If you started going around talking to animals, you would get thrown in a psychiatric hospital immediately. Yeah. Well, people but talk to just... animals all the time. They just don't get a response. No, but like, you'd be like, people love talking. Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> My sister just texted me. I hate Dr. that Doolittle movie. 2021. <laughs> What'd you say, Dave? Uh, Rachel just texted me and said, Dr. Doolittle 2021. <laughs> okay. If, you, if you're able to speak all four languages, everyone will know that you're actually doing that and you'll be the smartest person in the world. No, yeah. you wouldn't necessarily be the smartest. You would just know the most languages. Yeah. Yeah, but you'd, yeah, okay, but like, you'd be cool. one of the smartest people in the world. Like, oh. you'd be like a really high, uh, like, high value what? ticket person. What is talking to animals like? What is that going to do for you? Well, I like animals more than people, so facts. So people you, just, you won't be able to do as much talking to animals than you would be able to talk to. You could people. save wildlife around the world by talking to animals. From what? Ah! How? How would you save animals? Doing? I don't that? know how you would save animals. But if it's the people destroying the environment, how is talking to the animals going to do anything? Because you fucking understand what the animal wants and needs. So like, that ah, doesn't change people's actions. <laughs> turtle, ah, there's a straw in my way. With enough backing, right. anything can happen, Shannon. Would you um, rather win the lottery or live twice as long? Again, obvious answer, win the lottery. Win the lottery. Win the lottery. Dave counteracting here. Yeah, yeah, I really am counteracting. But like, <laughs> um, what's the uh, Contradicting. Contradicting. Yeah. Shannon? Yeah. Um, I want to go with live twice as long. Mm. She's also contradicting. Now, Shannon, no. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to age slower. You're going to be 200 years old is what, is what I'm interpreting this as. Or 100. That's fine. Does, that, does that change your answer at all? You really want to live to 200? Think of how old and decrepit your body would be. Mm, that's fine. Your but bones wouldn't like work anymore. Dave, yeah, but like Dave, I'm also afraid of dying. So, like, I'd rather that. I don't know. That's fair. I feel like it's, it's uh, a weird thing because, like, if you're the only one living to 200, then, then what's the point? I feel like, I yeah, know. when you get to 200, you just are like, please, somebody. <laughs> I do, I just do like, like the living twice as long. That's cool too. But unless, I would just of course, like to be in the Guinness World Record book. That well, that's that's cool. <laughs> Could win money that way. Yeah. Would you rather lose your vision or your hearing? <gasps> hearing. Hearing. Oh my vision. god. Vision. Nope. Really? Hearing. Yeah. Why would you pick your vision? Because I, I love music. Dude, you can just feel it with your body. Yeah, haven't you ever seen that girl on America's Got Talent where she takes her shoes off and feels the stage no. with her toes? Ooh. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> something, something, something. Um, Plus, I already have shit eyesight, so like... Yeah. Oh, my would you re- okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna have make this one the last one because I feel like this one's gonna be the most controversial. Okay. Would you rather be Batman or Spider Man? Spider Man. Spider Man. Tyler's Batman, and I'm the one who deci- who needs to decide now. Well, Dave, you're just gonna make it even, or you're gonna 
make it a victory for Spider-Man. It doesn't really matter. I can tell you guys why you're wrong if you want. I don't have to, but I can. No, please. Batman's got a lot of money. Man, man, man. That's the only reason. Tyler, convince me. Well, you see, David, <laughs> Spider-Man's a little pussy bitch. Not true. Really not true. Yes, it's true. Fucking Peter Parker. Who would you, okay, who would you rather be? Peter Parker or Bruce Wayne? Peter Parker. Peter Parker. Why? Because he's chill and he's down to earth and he's still normal. Like, Bruce Wayne has so many issues. <laughs> Joe, you're basically already Peter Parker. I'll take it. That's a compliment to me. <laughs> Thank you. Peter Parker you are is a stud. boy with his camera. Peter Parker but is Bruce a Wayne liar. has all of the money. Yeah, and he's got dead parents. He can suck yeah. a dick. So does Peter Parker. He's, he's just got, got vengeance girl. inside of him. But he's not his him. family. Fuck his family. Wayne have? He had Alfred, one? and that's yeah, it. Dude, Alfred's the... <laughs> Man, and that's oh, it. Alfred's so sick. Don't get me wrong. Alfred is awesome, but <laughs> like, in a layer, have dude. fucking Aunt May or Alfred. Oh well, I mean, depends on which Aunt May you're talking about. Because that's your family. You're, it's either not the good Aunt May, which would be weird because it's your aunt. But no, I'm talking like Tobey Maguire, Spider Man, that Aunt May or Alfred. Any of them. Any Alfred. Obvious, I feel like if you're going with the worst Aunt May, you have to go with the worst Alfred. Okay, okay. Well, the worst Alfred is so much better than the than the best Aunt May. So, I mean, take yeah. your pick, I guess. Alfred doesn't really do shit. Alfred is Bruce Wayne's guiding light. He if you felt, broke it down... And so was Aunt May to Peter Parker. If you yeah, broke it down, Alfred and thing. Batman are just lonely in a yeah. bat cave. It's true. Yep. Spider-Man yeah, but... goes out and sees the world swinging on webs and batman's got a little little boy as his sidekick that's a little weird i'm just saying he's so. always had a grown man in the movies brother yeah in the movies but robin is a child in the <laughs> comics um i'm gonna go so with freaky. spider-man because <laughs> let's fucking Marvel go all the way <laughs> <laughs> if batman had real superpowers yeah i might think about it he doesn't need superpowers. He's True. that good. Not really. Nah. He's a he little bitch. He, gets beat he up does a lot. everything that Spider Man can, and he didn't have to get bit by a spider. He can't, he can't swing on webs. He can't swing. He, he can't, can't even fly fucking, with his hands. He's got his fucking. He's uh, got his grappler. Grappling gun. Yeah, he can't redeploy that every fucking two seconds. <laughs> yes, he can. He's got different cartridges, dude. Oh, <laughs> and he can change them out while he's flying through the air. <laughs> yeah. Not a chance in hell. <laughs> Listen, Batman. I've never seen Batman grappling through New York. Sorry, through Gotham. I've never seen that. <laughs> and Tyler, by the way, when Batman <laughs> flies, he just falls at an angle. With style, like Buzz hey, Lightyear. glides. Yeah, glides. <laughs> and Buzz Lightyear is also a little bitch. True. Yeah, it's all in his head. Yeah, um, yeah Batman's cool. I like him. Yeah. But Spider-Man. Great movies. Batman would beat Spider-Man. Nah. Uh, Batman would How have would Spider Man be Spider Man would have a web around him in three seconds before Batman. Yeah, and Batman anything. would have developed something that would cut the web away from him. He would because he's a fucking G. He Remember what he did with Superman? Have. He beat his ass. <laughs> Until he the, didn't. You think the man that can beat Superman will not beat Spider Man? I mean mm. Batman vs Superman, the movie Yikes. Kind of he's, a, <laughs> he's, he beats him in the comics all the time. Kind of a yikes movie though. Yeah. Oh, it was a little corny. I liked it. I was like, I like corny. Movies. What is going on? Um. Well, That's before we jump any further ahead, I do want to go back a little bit. Uh, I d I did have another read weekly story that I wanted to tell. I was about to say, didn't you have one? Yeah, this one. So it's not my story. This story got told oh. to me the other day while I was hanging out with some friends. Right. And it fucked me up. Like it just made me so physically uncomfortable. That I didn't know what to do. So. This uh, person who this, I don't know the person who the story's about, um, but she recently, and by recently, I mean like beginning of, of quarantine. What are you doing, Tyler? <laughs> Got a little too dark. Man. Okay. Um, at the beginning of quarantine, uh, this girl got her nipples pierced. And Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I guess like, I, she was just like looking at the nipple piercings one day and she noticed around her nipple there was like a little what looked like a little hair like poking through the skin she was like oh let me grab some 
Snip, snips. Ew, ew. I don't want to finish this story. I don't want to finish this scissors? story. Scissors? Yeah, she just grabbed like a little, I don't know, scissors. That was her go-to as opposed to like tweezers or something. Okay. Um, so she grabbed, you grabbed scissors and uh, she went to go cut the hair. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no. This hair oh, okay. was a nerve ending and she <gasps> snipped a nerve ending. <laughs> no. Wait, so she can't feel someone flick her nip now? <laughs> no dave imagine like when you hit your funny bone like really hard and it just like the worst it just like tingles all the way up your arm and like your fingertips she just go numb. cut it she just cut wait, a nerve ending wait hold on why was there yeah. a nerve oh ending God. sticking uh, out of her wait i know <laughs> wait this is someone is this someone you know no no no. this is a friend of a friend go find that friend and your, ask that friend your nerve endings can't just fall out of your skin I guess they can. How did she How know? How did she know it was? A, it was yeah. an exposed nerve ending. How did she know? Did she just because feel- when she cut it, she ma- felt immediate pain and felt like she was going to pass out and throw up at the same time. So did she go to the doctor? I I, I I imagine so. I didn't I didn't bother asking the rest of the story after that part because oh I was too busy cupping every part of my body. <laughs> yeah, we. Need- I Jeez. like it was like. Can you um, even imagine? Well, I kind of almost have a... <laughs> there was this girl who I went to school with. She shaved her nipple off. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she, like, I think she got it, like, sewn back on or something. <laughs> but, oh. yeah. And that is from her. Like, she told me this, so... <laughs> Mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah. Do you think it looks normal now, or do you think you can tell that like? Oh no, that's not <laughs> probably not. Ugh. Yeah. Wait. So okay. Yeah. So she was shaving her tit. <laughs> I don't really know how, but I'm assuming that's the only thing that makes sense. What, did it come off like you're peeling a potato? <laughs> Really was it hanging know. on? Was it like hanging there? Or did it come off? It must have been. No, I don't think it came off, but like it was sliced. Like a like a piece of salami. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Dave, what are you looking up right now? <laughs> oh, I tried oh. looking for it, Dave. No, no, I couldn't look find it. Look, okay, first of all, what the fuck? I don't nipple flashing. nerve endings. Look at this. Nipple piercing risk. Colon. Oh. Girl cuts nerve while cleaning piercing. Viral story claims. While cleaning piercing. So maybe this is her. I don't think this I don't think this this happened to actually happen. I don't think I think this happened like a couple like this this year. So I doubt if this unless the story's from this year, then I doubt it. Are you sure she wasn't telling you the story about this viral story? I'm one hundred percent positive. She was like it was this was literally the story was being told to me, and they were like, This happened at the beginning of quarantine. And I said and you've just been sitting on this story for this long and not been telling me about it? Wow. My nipple hurts. So your your, your nerve ending can just grow out of your skin, huh? Well, uh, this apparently. Is, this, I imagine it to story. be very rare, but it happened. This is the God. Twitter post of this of this story. I'll read this, and I think that's... All right, whatever. Coworker telling me a story about a girl she knew who took her nipple ring out to clean it and pulled out what she thought was a string... But was actually a nerve, so she took scissors and cut it and blacked out and woke up in the hospital. Yeah, that is not... So this girl was just... I don't, like... I don't think she took the... According to the story they told me, she was not taking the thing out and cleaning it. She just, like, noticed that there was, like, an exposed... Or, like, that there was a a stray hair. And she was like, oh, gotta get that. And just... But, like, I I have to say... uh, This is what I said when they told me the story. That I, I have to imagine that cutting it is the better option. As like if you're gonna, if you didn't know it was a nerve ending, no. You, would you rather take I, tweezers and yank on a nerve? No, I would be like, hey, doc, oh. what's this? And like, oh, we gotta shove that oh, back in there. God. Right, but like, what if you didn't know it was a nerve ending, Dave? That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't touch it. If I saw something come out of my nipple, it wasn't. Out, it was, <laughs> Dave. It was around her nipple, not out of her nipple. Either way, I mean, if like, it, you, if it, do you have hair around your nipples, Dave? Me? Yeah, I'm a guy. <laughs> yeah. Girls grow hair too, Dave. 
Yeah. So if it, if okay, yeah. If I was a girl, then I guess I'd probably. So just, like, Dave, just next time you're going to like, if you if you trim your chest hair at all, next time you're shaving I'm around. I'm never going to do that ever now. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I would. Oh, never, oh my god. god. Yeah. But like, I think cutting it is the better option because it's just like a quick thing. Like it's painful, but like you'll you'll survive it. But, but like I feel tweezing. Like if you're using, no, I feel like if you're using the tweezer, like you could start to pull it and be like. Hold on a second. Yeah, <laughs> not, the way, right. or, not the way I tweeze. Yeah, I go I, in, I just yank, I just yeah, go. You just gotta, there's no second guessing it. There's, yeah, there's no like, oh, is this gonna hurt? Uh, no, you're, you grab it and just fucking go. Yeah. Uh, quick nobody, and painless, no, unless it's a nerve ending, then it's tweezers. <laughs> tweezers. It's, it's... God. I don't like that. I yeah, I didn't like it either. It, my whole body just started tingling after they told me the story, and I was like, I don't want that at all. Yeah. Let's move on from that story. Yeah. I was actually... um, God. Um, what are we all drinking today, by the way? I'm drinking. I'm drinking a Apple Crisp Bud Light Seltzer. Was that lemonade? Truly. Truly, black cherry lemonade. I've got a Mackenzie's Black Cherry Hard Cider. I've got a Mike's Original. Original. Um, original. Did you guys? I'm sure you've all heard. I know Shannon and I have. Um, Alex Trebek. No longer, okay, are we all no going to pretend like we gave a fuck about Alex Trebek? Whoa! I hate when, I hate when celebrities was a die. A and treasure. I hate when celebrities die and then everyone's like, I loved him. Oh my god. Never watched. No. I, I don't give a single fuck. Oh, I mean, it's a, it's a tragedy that he died, but I don't care. Like, yeah, I've watched Jeopardy, so... Yeah, yeah. I, it was a, it that's was like a, in my home Jeopardy every night. Oh yeah, no. All right, so I'm maybe with, not you guys, but I'm like people Tyler posting about Alex Trebek dying on Instagram. Like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I didn't post anything, but I was like, R.I.P. Yeah. Alex Trebek. <laughs> you don't give, you don't care about Alex Trebek that much. That's 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 very true. You I just feel like a lot of likes people... on your Instagram post. Yeah, facts. Clout chasers. It's like when everybody <laughs> when I, when any celebrity dies, it's like oh my god. If it, if <laughs> I can understand that, like. Well, actually, no, because even when what's his face died, um, Chadwick, Kobe? Boseman, Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman. I knew it. Um, I mean, I really enjoyed him, and I watched all his stuff, whatever. But I didn't. I didn't do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not, not gonna like go. Crying. I'm not gonna go. It's yeah, just... I, I didn't. I was like, oh, that's a that's that's sad, and that. And then I was like, I was like, well, <sighs> I have work to do now, so. <laughs> I like I, I knew I I know a guy who when Kobe died, he posted something about Kobe dying for the next month. On his Instagram story. Oh, that's I'm just like, like hey, man. Like, did you know him personally? <laughs> I get that you're a basketball fan and all, but it doesn't fucking matter in your yeah. life. Like, it's not. I mean, I understand I... you, Tyler. I think you're a little harsh. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, God. I don't care. I'm sorry. I, I that went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, Tyler, but I think I think that's a little little uh um, yeah i like, mean to say like fuck alex trebek that's a bit bad but like <laughs> i didn't mean it fuck alex trebek but i mean yeah. fuck the people that are like sad that yeah. i'm like okay you, my mom 90, almost started crying years old yeah see it's i'm like, in i'm way in between of almost crying and tyler i'm like yeah, you're like right you're like a happy medium years old yeah oh, 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 i my told god. my mom and she was like oh my god like she was so upset <laughs> i think it's more of the, like if he died of natural causes then that's yeah. then that's okay. Especially it's the fact that he, he died like, of stage four cancer. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, because he was like, "I'm here." Like he was still doing Jeopardy and stuff. Yeah. Like he was like, "I'm fighting," and it just I'm not thinking, seemed kind of sudden. Of the right, I'm thinking of somebody else that died when they were ninety. I don't think Alex Trebek was that old, but still. Yeah, I was gonna. I, mean, say, I don't think he's ninety, but go ahead. <laughs> he was older. Yes. I'm thinking of Sean Connery. Uh, oh. Is he yes. dead? Yeah, he oh, he's dead. Yeah. Oh. And I was devastated. No, you weren't. Oh, were you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Tyler's a phony. A you know who? Phony. which celebrity I don't want to ever die? Cool. Betty Evans. White. Oh. Is she True. ever? How is she outliving all these celebrities? I don't know. She's got some sort of magic sh witchcraft think... shit going on. Because she's like 92, The Illuminati. Right? I'm pretty sure Ben just told me that. Betty Confirmed. White Betty White is in the Illuminati. 98 years old. And she honestly looks 70. And she's still kicking. She's doing great. Yeah. I think uh, Ben just told me that. Someone he knows is like 103. Someone he knows? Yeah. Maybe it's Kate's grandma or something like that. I don't know. But she's oh 103 God. years old. It's like, what? That's crazy. Imagine being alive and... 
1917. Right? Is that it? Yeah, that, that's right, right Dave. For being born in 1917. Yeah. Is Good it? movie, by the way. I didn't see it. Good movie. Tyler, what um, were you just watching there? Um, my, 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 uh, I got a phone call, as I usually do during the podcast, and my audio got fucked up, so I'm just trying to connect my Oh, yeah. Back to the... Makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, how, how, how much longer we got here? Oh, uh, we, we can probably, hair. we can probably head right into the trivia now. We're at about 50 minutes, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, 50 minutes. Um... Uh, yeah, the ranking before. tattoos was going to be the last part of that. But again, uh, sorry for anyone who wanted to see really shitty tattoos. Um, with that being said, though, Shannon gave me uh, uh, a thing, a great show for you guys to, I don't know if it's still airing. Shannon, do you know? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Well, if you if you go on to the YouTube, you might be able to find the show that Shannon recommended. Um, mm -hmm. I did look at some pictures, and those those tattoos are way too inappropriate for us to show on the internet without getting demonetized. Well, um, some of them. <laughs> yeah, some of them are bad. But uh, how yeah. far is Tattoo Far is the show on and on MTV? And boy, some of those tattoos are fucked up. It's weird. Mm -hmm. It's on where? So, like, check, some, check out some of those, and that'll give you an idea of what not to get on your body tomorrow. Definitely. Or but to today, because th th this you're listening to this on Friday the 13th. Oh. I will not be getting anything tomorrow neither will i i was looking forward to it uh but none of the tattoo shops down here that i found are doing custom tattoos they're all doing like pre-made designs that are all friday the thir 13th related so it's just like either something spooky or the number 13 and i just don't want that so yeah i'm not really into that i wouldn't mind getting something spooky so we'll see. i yeah i wanted something spooky why didn't you show me I'd oh get, i mean i'd get a skull if we can still go tomorrow shannon like well, I want to see, like, what... Okay, I'll show you some pictures. By the way, I have no tattoos. I'm debating. I kind of want one, but... Just get a little I'm also a one. chicken. Doesn't hurt. Yeah, I just want, like, nice little... Skull. Depending on... Depending on one, oh, where you get it. There goes my headphones. Bum, mm. bum, bum. Then I will stop talking. All right, let's wrap this up, because everyone's going to shit. What do we got? Shannon, Hold are on. you back? Yes, I'm back. Okay. okay. Um, one. My, uh, can you guys Sorry. Do I know it's not any different with my my audio now coming through my laptop and not my headphones? No, no, no I don't headphones. hear it. No. no. Okay. What was I saying? What Tyler this? thinks a lot. Oh, one depends on where you get it, and two depends on how much shading you have. That's true. The shading is the worst part. But if it's a small thing, oh. yeah, then it doesn't really matter. Like yeah. Tyler's Tyler's uh, king over there on his arm, his chest piece. I could probably easily do that. It's not that All much. mine were fine. Mine, yeah, I'm just a chicken. I'm not good with like needles and stuff. My pain tolerance is very low. Right yeah. there. I don't understand why people are afraid of needles. I'm, I'm very ranty today. Because, yeah, Tyler, I don't, you're a little... I have like a phobia of being stabbed. Do you not like shots? You one of those people? No, I'm okay with like getting blood drawn, but like <sighs> shots, no. What? Dave can't do the blood draw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not, it's not that bad. Blood drawn, but not getting a shot. Yeah, shots are way easier than getting because blood drawn. No, Dude, not at all. Because that goes like in a muscle and they're longer and they're cold. But like getting blood drawn, it's a small, tiny, thin needle. It's not no, bad. It's not. It is thicker than the shot needle. Mm, that is oh, a fact. And not less. I, I ask for the baby needles when I get blood drawn. So oh. maybe you're just asking <laughs> for the wrong needle. <laughs> I didn't know you could ask for needles. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, could I have the two yeah. inch give radius? The, give me the big boy needle. I want the embalming needle. Oh I would put the needle in myself if they let me. <laughs> Dude, no. man, that's disgusting. They're all, oh they're god. Always, they always go like this. They go. I'm gonna put it in, okay? So get ready, and I'm just like, can you just like do it? Like I don't just put it in. Like, shove it in. Terrified and like in a lot of pain. I'm just like, can you just get the? Can you just do it, please? Yeah. Um, somebody pick a number. Shannon, you're up. Pick a number. Dave, what's the what's ten. the range? One through ten. Oh, one through ten. Yeah. What? That's so little. Okay, two That's through none eleven. Of the two through eleven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, eight. Look at that, between one and ten, so it's still good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I gotta get my phone ready. I, yeah, I dropped my phone. 
What relative of the raccoon is sometimes known as the cat bear? Uh. Cat bear? The cat bear. I honestly think I know this one. What? Relative of the raccoon. <laughs> cat, cat bear. What's related I to... I feel like I might... Okay, hmm. I'm locked in. I'm not... Uh... Blah. Well, cat bear. cat bear. I feel like I, I'm wrong, and I feel like I should have gone with my other answer. But I'm I, I I don't know if they're related to raccoons. So I don't know how to spell this. That's fine. I don't know what the exact name is, but you're 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 already locked in, Dave. Yeah, I'm locked in. I'm locked. Tyler. Well, I don't really, but I just, yeah. Like, cat bear. I'm like, what do you, like, I don't, I can't think of anything that's like a cat. And a bear. bear? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I don't know how to spell this animal. I think I got it. All, All right. right. Shannon, what was your answer really quick? Okay, well, there's something called a bear cat, and it's like called a, like a bing turon or something like that. Bingteron. Bingteron. Yes. Something, okay. I don't know if you know if I'm saying that right, but it's a bear cat. I'll and it's like it a long, like fluffy, weird looking okay. thing. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, but that's what I have. Tyler? I don't think it's related to Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I said ferret. Ferret? Dave, what'd oh, you I put? I said parrot. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you know what the little, like, cute little, like, uh, panda bears are? But the little ones, R red, red panda? pandas. Oh, is that what they're called? Yeah. Are they are they red in color? <laughs> I, yeah, but they're like they're not the big pandas, but they're the little ones. They only, only red little. pandas. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the red panda. I thought there was a name for them. I put, that was my second option. I put uh, an uh, uh, opossum. <laughs> opossum. Oh. I did write down opossum. Okay. <sighs> You're the worst, dude. Okay, I, I was gonna put white. You click on the white. I was gonna put skunk. It's but... the panda. Ah, so it's shit, the Dave? Full, it's the full blown panda, not okay. the little one. See, you know, it was so weird. When I first thought of it, I was like, I mean, relative to the raccoons, oh, kind of yeah. resemble pandas with the eyes. But I was like, it can't be a panda. That makes no sense. What? I was How either going koala bear or the little red panda. I was gonna say a red panda too, but I don't. Okay, I just googled cat bear, and whatever the fuck Shannon said came up. Thank you, because it's called a bear cat. That looks wait a more second. like a. That looks like a red wait, panda. It's a red panda. No, they're different. So I don't know. Maybe they come in different colors, I'm but different. I've only seen dark I'm ones. Different. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my. All right. Well, I mean, Dave gets the. I feel like Dave gets the two points for this because he's close. I mean, he got. Panda, at least. It wasn't the red right. panda. No, but I want to look up red panda and bingerton or whatever she said. Bing Tarong. It's, oh. <laughs> bing, it's a bin Tarong. Bin Tarong. Red panda. Oh, wait. Wait, red panda. Yeah, that, I feel like saw, that looks more. So this is the red panda. This is a cute little guy. Looks like a raccoon. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's yeah. a bin Tarong, isn't it? <laughs> okay, but now we're going to look up. That does look just like a raccoon. Um, yeah. They are endangered, that's by the way. Yes, they are. How do you spell Binturong? B I N T U R O N G. Oh, okay, right this thing is ugly. Show it on the. Yeah, so the Tyler, the cute. first picture you showed, and then it. Yeah, so what he showed was the thing. Okay, so the gray one is a. Ugh. That thing is it's, ugly as shit. It's not ugly. Yeah, it is. It looks like a sick it's cute. raccoon. It does look oh, like right, a sick this, raccoon. This one looks cute. Right, well, I mean, I guess we'll just give it to Dave because he was. Oh, that one looks nice. Yeah, now, this one looks like a cat. Yeah, yeah, so honestly, I think they're wrong. And even if they went with the panda, <laughs> it should have been either the red panda or this thing. Well, either way, Dave, you got True. two points, so you won. <laughs> yeah, let's go, boy. Either way, um, I think Shannon would get points, so we'll just give him the Dave. That's true, yeah. I feel judged. Wait, what? You should feel judged. If that's what you just said.
Um, right. wrong. Close this out. Yeah, uh, Dave, where can the people find you? Why am I going first? Because that's just the way <laughs> we worked it out. Shannon didn't want to go first, so that's what we're doing. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> you can find me in California tomorrow night hey. <laughs> at the... Anyways, um, twitch.tv slash great white sharky, um, underscore David Sharky, underscore uh, at D Sharp 101. I'm not going to tell are you, you which one. Are you nope. those handles are nope. for? Nope, they can figure it out. <laughs> they can figure it out. And, Just keep trying it. Um, great white shark 17. Figure them out. Um, the, What's that one? That's my YouTube, I think. <laughs> I think it's my YouTube that I don't post anything on. Oh. Um, my greatest eat of the week or my eat of the week is chicken fingers. The ones that I just had during this podcast that you saw uh. me shoving my face with. Don't know what, you brand. know, I will say, Dave, I didn't see you eat anything this entire episode. You well, did I rewatch it and you'll see me take a bite of one. I guess I will watch <laughs> it again. Um, I had that with some Duff's barbecue sauce, charbecue sauce. As mm. the dipping sauce and Loganberry, Crystal Beach Loganberry for the drink. Um, Which just made me think, uh, we never talked about Shannon you being a vegetarian, but we'll, we'll get to that some other time, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I totally thought it was going to come up, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, quick question. Yeah. Um, I meant to ask this yesterday, but you said we have a guest next week. Yes, next well. week we will have um, my friend Sarah, who I also used, to, uh, who I used to work with in Fantasyland. Um, she is an avid listener slash watcher of the podcast, and she was the one who uh, gave us the idea for the um, what was your scariest story or your funniest scariest thing? Don't say it, Tyler. Don't fucking say it. <laughs> Are you telling me? Wait, this is her. Are you telling me? That Toasted Yost is coming on our podcast? <laughs> no, that's not what I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, it's not the same person? Yeah. Not the same person. <laughs> oh. It's not. I promise you it's not the same person. Okay. Ooh. Anyways, that's all my stuff. Tyler, to all you. All right, Tyler, take it away. You can follow me on Instagram at TylerS917. You can follow my magic account at TylerS917. Uh, hmm? Stroke. Tyler. Oh. Magic 52. Um, you can. Um, I'm gonna throw my Venmo. I'm gonna throw my Venmo out there. <laughs> nice, nice voice crack. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna throw my Venmo out there. You can Venmo me at Tyler Dash Smith Dash Dash Four Zero. Um, saving up for charity. Hey, um, yeah. My eat of the week is nothing because I still haven't been able to enjoy food. Because of my wisdom teeth. Mm. Ah, yes. Um, so, you know, I'll go with ice cream. <gasps> a lot of ice cream. I forgot about that, too. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, Dang. God. Shannon I never... need to read you interview. <laughs> Sh Shannon's wisdom teeth never came in, so she never has to get them removed. I evolved for the world. Good. We need more people like you. Well, you, well you can save Thank that you. for the next time she's here. Yes. I mean, um, yeah. People. So. That also, I will also have to remember that another person who <laughs> listened to the podcast sent me something regarding Dave's getting Dave Dave's teeth getting removed. Um, oh. So we have to talk about that later. Huh? Um, yeah, I'll tell you about it in the next episode, Dave. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Shannon, take it away. What would you? Where they can? Where can they follow you? Okay, so as you mentioned in whichever episode, I do have a podcast I just started with my friend Tom. Um, it's all about theme park stuff. It's Preferred Parking Podcast. You can follow at Pref Park Podcast on Twitter. That's P-R-E-F Park Thank Podcast. You. And then you can follow my personal Twitter at simply underscore Shan. That's S-H-A-N. And that's it. Oh, I that's thought you were spelling simply, and I was like, who just spelled it wrong? <laughs> 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 oh, God. You know, I feel um, like one of those two words, though, simply would have been the one that I would have personally spelled wrong as, as opposed to Shannon. So. Well, because Shannon has two N's, so, but Shan I only do with one N. Shan. So that's, yeah, yeah Shan. Simply Shan. Um, and oh. Shannon, what was your E to the week? Oh, uh, right. Um, my roommate made me some eggplant parmesan last night, and I was Egg really plant. happy. Love it. 
Because I came home from work late at night and it was just waiting for me and I was very excited. Also, I just saw Dave eat, so we're good there. All right. Oh, yeah. Um, all right. Thank you, Shannon. Um, I will take it away now. You can follow my photography Instagram at Sharky underscore photography. Actually, I'm posting a new picture uh, as soon as we're finished recording here. Um, you can follow my regular Instagram at Secret Agent Sharky. And you can subscribe to my YouTube at Joe Sharky. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, and my eat of the week is, I wrote it down because I don't remember. Shannon and I ordered food the other day from, right. where was it from, Shannon? Gators Dockside. Gators Dockside. Yeah. And I got a Cuban burger, which is a, a hamburger that had pork on it and then fried, pic like deep fried pickles. Oh my God. It was so fucking good. Deep I, fried pickles. Yeah, deep fried pickles, like little pickle slices that were, you know, deep fried. My God. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the, one of the best burgers. The pork on the burger was, I think, the best thing they ever could have done. It was so freaking good. I loved it. Um, delicious. And then that does it for me. As for the podcast, you can follow us on Twitter at CSGPod. That's C-S-G-P-O-D. And uh, subscribe to our YouTube at The Shuffle Podcast. You can also find us anywhere you find your podcasts. Um, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, recently added to Google Play. If it wasn't already on there, I just added it. Um, hold on, Dave. That is also at The Shuffle Podcast. <laughs> Go ahead, Dave. New logo coming soon. Yes. Next week, potentially, we will have, uh, at least we will feature some of the drafts of a new logo that we're getting. Um is being designed by our friend Quinn uh, and we will shout her out and actually potentially have her on an episode in the coming weeks. So keep your eyes out for Quinn. Um, and I think that pretty much does it. Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, Apple podcasts. I think that's got to Does it got to does it. And I don't fucking know words anymore. Let's, let's chug oh, our drinks yeah. here. I forgot about these. <laughs> I'm laughing. I feel like I have too much left. I had maybe one. Oh. I got a certain. Yeah. Thing. I started this half. All right. That does it for us. Thanks so. for coming to our one year amazing hoedown. Bye bye, everyone. Bye.